New York, roughly 9 million inhabitants, yet people feel lonely. Are loneliness and solitude different? Is loneliness an incurable sickness or a casual feeling? Arthur Schopenhauer spoke about the disinterest that the world has towards our existence. And Rajid brought the fear of finding oneself alone. That is what they suffer from, and so they don't find themselves at all. Then whose fault is it if people feel lonely? Is it because of external factors such as people's interest in us? Or is it not knowing ourselves enough to the point of being scared to be left alone? People that feel lonely are people with no imagination or no passions. Schopenhauer again claimed that therefore the man of genius requires imagination. In order to see in things not what nature has actually formed, but what she endeavored to form, yet did not bring about because of the conflict of her forms with one another. I think you need to be a genius though. Regular practice is enough. Even passion needs discipline as Lady Gaga said on the Oscars 2019. There are other factors as well such as the ego, the fact of not knowing ourselves enough and self-actualization. Carl Jung spoke of the ego saying that knowledge of the ego personality is often confused with self-understanding. According to Jung, the ego represents the conscious mind as it comprises the thoughts, memories and emotions a person is aware of. In order for you to be lonely, I think you need to be content with yourself. So I think if you're, if you're content with yourself, then you can accept what boredom is and you can be lonely and be happy. To be in a yogi, you gotta be gritty. Because ain't nobody giving a shit about you, trust at all. Every day is my lucky day. Because I believe in God. So it's not the money. You understand me? Now, what a wonderful world. And I believe that. When I play this song, I believe it in my heart. The money always comes to me. Look where I'm playing. Look. There's only one place better than this in the whole world. And that's Casablanca. <laughs> Diego is largely responsible for feelings of identity and continuity. As a matter of fact, fear goes along with ignorance. Thus, do not feel threatened by something you don't know. People are strange when you're a stranger. Don't be strange. Try understanding the stranger. We're well, all the same, to a certain extent, of course. Different habits, different languages, but we laugh and cry at the same thing. Fear prevents us of taking opportunities every day that could potentially change our lives for the better and thus bring us closer to contentment. I would say that being a New Yorker means that you aren't ever alone, that you are always surrounded by somebody and you are always surrounded by something to do, someone to help, someone, somewhere to give and even though loneliness can still find you, it's very easy to get rid of. New York is like a different uh, place, uh, it's like a different universe or something. Um, when, you, when I come to New York it feels like I'm in another state of mind or something to just change my whole attitude, uh, my whole personality. New York is a beautiful place. Um, some people are good, some are bad. Um, that's all in the world. New York is just unique. 
It's a uniqueness about New York. I can't explain it. You have to come and find out for yourself. If you encounter something that scares you, educate yourself on it. If you're in an argument, research both sides. Learn everything you can possibly can. Knowledge is not power. Knowledge is shelter. Shelter from stress and fear. Accepting ourselves, even those aspects that seem flawed. Nobody is perfect. It all comes down to respect. It's cold out here. Casablanca! <laughs> God bless you, man. God bless you. It's cold out here. I ain't eat all day. Go to the soup kitchen. They my fear. Can we let Nietzsche be right about having reached the last man? The last man, one who instead of focusing on enhancing the grandeur of man, is concerned solely with using science and technology to enhance the pleasure and comfort of man. Fortunately, there are others like Ralph Emerson Waldo who would suggest better. So a thought and you reap an action. So an act and you reap a habit. So a habit and you reap a character. So a character and you reap a destiny. Now go on and sow your thoughts we meet when you reap your destiny. And never forget, love rules. All you need is love, love.